Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to do a panda palette update on my NYX Ultimate Brights palette that I'm panning for 2019. Last year I panned the Too Faced Chocolate Bar and that was very neutral so I craved color and I for sure have color this year. <laughs> Sometimes even uh, too much. But when that said, I really really enjoy this palette. I have gotten a lot of looks out of this palette. I have experimented mostly in this month uh, with different colors in this palette. I can almost tell you guys that I have used every single color uh, in this palette. I don't even know if I want to show you guys the picture from last time because there's no progress. You can see there's more wear in the shadows this time around, but you can't really see anything. But yeah, I will insert it in a way uh, just to reference. This is where I am at the moment with my palette. So yeah, no pan at all. <laughs> But what can you expect when you play around with the colors then you don't focus on shades But I will say I have a lot of looks for you guys to uh, To look at and I do post some of the looks that I create in the fantastic ladies Facebook group So if you're not a member and you want to see my looks more often than on my Instagram You could check out that uh, group out. It will always be linked in the description box So the shadows that I have Worn the most is the pink shade, the coral shade, the dark purple shade, and this lilac purple shade right there. Those are the shadows that I have worn the most after I posted my full collection project pan because I draw a purple eyeliner in that project, and therefore I thought the purple pinky shadows would be the most ideal shadows to focus on while I use that eyeliner up. For the intro I wore a lot of red, coral, pinky shades and then I created a look using the blue shades. I included this coral shimmer shade from L'Oreal on my eyelid and then I did a green look using the yellow and green shades and then an orange from another palette that I'm panning. I have worn makeup for like three out of four weeks in January. One of those weeks, I didn't wear this that often. I maybe used the coral and the pink eyeshadow on my lower lash line for a pop of color, but I mostly just use some um, very golden neutral tones on the eyelid and then pop of color. That is uh, where I am with this, so you can see the most wear in the shadows that I have used the most, obviously. I'm not using the darker purple at the moment because I drew a dark, dark purple in my project pan roulette thingy. Yeah, it is one of the shadows where you can see the most wear. Uh, because I used it a lot in the beginning and I have used it a lot last year. I don't even know if you can see the wear. You can see the wear on the pink, I guess. And um, yeah, I'm using it, I'm enjoying it. So that is everything for this update. I don't really know what to say because I don't have any exciting news about the palette. Um, just that I am working on it and I am trying to find a look where I can pan a few shadows from this palette and incorporating this L'Oreal infallible shadow from uh, my panning games and then the shadows that I have in my full collection project pen and my uh, single ladies and my man mad palette or collab. It's very very hard because there's a lot of shimmers and there's a lot of mattes. The mattes are way easier and this is fortunately very much. So that is everything for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed and if you did, please give it a like, subscribe down below for the next update. I'm really excited and crossing my fingers that I maybe have a pan next time and I think it is going to be in the purple or pinky rose. Um, so I'm really, really excited to maybe show you some guys some pan. I really want to have a pan next time. So I hope you guys enjoyed and until my next video, please take care and I will see you then. Bye.